What up guys? So first Sibyl list for layer zero is out actually three hours ago. So let's go ahead and review it. And this is including 800,000 addresses, which is the one that's self-reported. So they're going to be receiving 15% of their allocation and 85% will return to users for the airdrop. But also they added some other addresses using chaos and also Nensen. So in total, it is 803, but we don't know what, what are the ones that are self-reported or not. And by the way, this is the first list. So this is not including the eligibility checker. And also we have starting today, the second phase, which is snitching to earn. But for snitching to earn, actually there is a minimum requirement. So if they're snitching on you, if there is somebody else, that says that you're a Sibyl, you need to have at least 20 addresses. So if you are under that, you should be good to go, right? And the reward is that they're going to be receiving 10% of the allocation and the and the one that has um, 20 addresses, obviously, they are not going to be receiving anything. What I did is if you want to check um, the list, you can actually just click on the website or on the link right here, but you do need to download it. If you want to do it, just go to the link and then click view raw, but you do need to download it. So what I did is I did it on Google shit. So I'm going to be providing the lit, the link, and then you can just do, for example, command. If you are on a Mac or if you are on, on windows, just control F and then copy, paste your wallet address, and you should be able to filter if you are within the list. Most likely you shouldn't, but it, it is still good to double check if you are within the list. So going back to this, here is some important stuff. And the second phase will be, so starting today and the deadline is until May 31st. So that means by the end of the month. So I'm guessing that next month is when we're going to have the eligibility checker. So they're going to be removing all the civil addresses with more than, with more than 20. And obviously they're going to put in the work most likely again with chaos and also with Nensen. And then, which is phase three, which they're going to be receiving or removing some of the wallets with a huge amount of low amount of funds of transaction. So let's say that you have maybe a hundred transaction on layer zero and you have been just spamming transaction using Merkley. Um, if 80% of them are just using Merkley with five bucks, one buck, or even less than that, most likely you could end up on a Sibyl list. So they have two different categories for Sibyl. The first one is that you have more than 20 transactions and the second is that you have been spamming a crazy amount of transaction and you might end up on that Sibyl list. Myself, I didn't self self niche, so I'm not going to be receiving 15%. It is everything or nothing because I don't want to be on a blacklist that uh, maybe other airdrop uses in the future and then I uh, stop receiving other airdrop. It is not that important for me to receive layer zero and then stop receiving other airdrop. So again, we don't know the actual requirements for the Sibyl list. So maybe if you have a huge uh, amount of transactions, so maybe 30%, 40% coming from Merkley, coming from gas.zip, you might get Sibyl, but we still don't know, right? So 803K, last time that I checked, I think they have around 5 million um, active wallets on layer zero. That doesn't mean all of them are going to be receiving the R drop. Not all of them, because we still need to remove the large clusters that are not going to be receiving the R drop. But also, there is around 1.2 or 1.8 million wallets that they only took one transaction. So trust me, most likely that they are not going to be receiving the R drop if they only took one or two transactions. There is a crazy amount with um, low amount of transaction that they use it for maybe um, one time or, or, or just one month. So if you have been using it for multiple months, you have been adding some volume, maybe doing some LP on Stargate Finance, um, you have been bridging something between a hundred bucks, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, you should be good to go, right? I, I think we're putting way too much emphasis on if we're a CBO or not, but I think most of us, we should be good to go. So yeah, in total, I'm guessing that maybe 2 million wallets is what should be eligible for the airdrop. Obviously, I'm just putting a number out there. Uh, but out of 5 million, I'm guessing that maybe 2, 2.5, they're going to be removing it as Sibyl. Then maybe 2 million is what we're going to be receiving uh, 
who's going to be receiving the odd drop and obviously it will be in tiers so even if it is 2 million most likely there is 500,000 that they're going to be making something like 500 bucks or thousand dollars because they use it for maybe two to three months so if you have been using it for maybe six months um, nine months or even more than that and depending on your volume on how diversified you are most likely you should be receiving way more than that so there you go again i'm going to be adding the link in the description for this it is the same link the same list i just copy paste for you guys just for simplicity so you guys can check it out here instead of downloading the the file so there you go any questions any doubts just let me know Bye bye